Alrighty then, let's try and keep this episode to half an hour. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. No, hello, welcome to Archer's Place Stone Block 2. Uh, here's the thing I want to do, some more ME stuff. This memory card here is going to be very important to the next few steps, because the next thing I want to make, alongside the memory card, is a P2P. I want to make some of these. This is not enough. We're going to need at least two of these, right? So uh, let's, which one was that? Engineering processors. We've got engineering processor. We can ask this for two, right? Let's do that. We've got the stuff. It's just going to take a while. Meanwhile, we want to make a dense cable. Now, dense cable is what we want to be doing kind of in the first place, but we haven't got there yet. Uh, right, you, you want to make, and then you make cover cable. So what we're going to, dense cable, basically, is like the other cable that we got, except there's 32 channels in it, not just, sorry, microphone, not just uh, eight. So ME covered cable is wool and ME cable. And we have some ME cables, so let's make four of these. Do that, do this, do that. Dense covered cable, and then dense smart cable is uh, dense covered cable plus redstone plus glowstone. Ta-da! Let's go and see how this works. Um, over here, actually. Back on our ME system. So if I uh, pop this off of here, which one do you think we're gonna do? This is seven of eight, this is four. Let's take this off. And wallop. 0 0.32, when everything reconnects. That's gonna work. Hello? You alright? Hello? There we go, 7 of 32 channels took a minute, but we're okay. Uh, it's, it's fine. Just walk off the edge. I don't mind. Uh, this, this, this layout. <laughs> I did it on purpose, but it's already confused me. No one should have to live like this. Um can't quite tell but there are basically it's basically the same size as this but each of these is i believe eight or four four would make sense right so only two of the bars are lit up we've got seven of 32 channels in use all going down there fine what about this thing that you just made well let me show you that actual me cable is all very well and good he's having point-to-point -point networking. It's an advancement. Well done, me. Um, if we were to put... Let me break... Let me get my air, air charm. It's going to help. Air. One's working. One's in use. I probably shouldn't have... Wait. That's how we do it. Okay. Go. Pull this off. It's going to take a bit longer because we're flying. You know how it is. Bye. Hello? I picked you up. It didn't make a noise. Put that. And then this. Okay, so almost correct, except for one thing, which is that we need to also connect this to uh, the network elsewise, which is going to be... I forget how to do that. We need to power this. Is the problem and in order to power that we need to make sure that we connect it with uh, power but not data and i don't think we can do that we have to connect it with data i've forgotten the way i think we can connect it to itself like this Come on. that's going to send all the data down eight of eight channels because this is one of them We're back in a minute when I've remembered how. I believe this is how you do it. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I seem to have forgotten. Let me get my... Um, my uh, camera. Present nature. Because this is important. I had this already and then I immediately forgot how to do what I was trying to do. So, uh, good job me. Um, pick this up. Put this here. But, no, I need, I don't want to use a smart cable. Well, let's use a smart cable to prove it. But mean, we don't need to use a smart cable, this is, right? So this type of cable only transmits power and not data. So this was on 0 to 32, and it should still be on 0 to 32, but this is going to power, so then it'll be 1 to 32. This may have worked, but we can't tell yet. So let's um, go to 
it's a bit far away for us to be proving something quite so back and forthy, but that's okay. Um, let's go to the greenhouse. And what we can do is somewhere over here. It doesn't really matter where. I probably should have picked up a smart cable to prove this bit as well. Put this here. It's here. And close enough. However, one thing we do need to do is to take our memory card because what we've done now is we've made a P2P connection from there to there. The problem is it's not actually connected because we haven't actually created one. Uh, we have to shift right click this to make a new, so you see how that created F150. So that's the name of that P2P connection now. I'm going to turn this. If we go over here, oops, if we go over here and right click on this, this should now be connected. And then if we go back to the stacks to start ourselves off, we should find that this serves five of 32 channels. Just expected more, but I didn't really expect more because some of those channels are from the mob farm, right? So there are five channels in use at the greenhouse. This is using zero channels because this is only transmitting power. Ta-da! Great, so let's go replace that with an ME cable. I think an ME cable will suffice. A cable. Uh, the reason we need to do this, I'll, I'll explain it as we point at it. In fact. So this device here is a P2P tunnel. What it does is it compresses everything in this into this device and sends it down a single channel. And then at the other, other end, it unpacks all of that into the channels that we started with. I don't know if there's a limit to the number of channels that the P2P tunnel can carry, but I believe that there is... Uh, Basically, the limit is how you put everything together. Okay, so now we should still have power on this as soon as this turns on again. This should work. Yes, five of 32 channels. So what's happened is the five channels that were in use in the greenhouse have been bundled together into a single channel and sent down the wire as a P2P connection. The P2P connection is a point-to-point -point connection. So what it says is this point here connected to oh for goodness sake <laughs> i should probably just not have such a difficult base to work in uh igor the this is a excuse me four this is five four this should be zero let's get some more smart cable I want to debug this as we go along because this is not correct. Smart cable, of course. Better than real cable. Uh, recipe. For, oh, we've got some. What is this noise? You trying to be filled up with more stuff? Perhaps you shouldn't be in there. Um, weird. Okay, let's, uh, let's just ignore that for now. So one of these here, one of these here. As far as I understood it, this was right. There's zero of eight channels in use here. There's five here, and there's this should be linked over there to that. What we're also going to do, just to just to prove that everything's working correctly, is we need to make another uh, P2P because, right, we need a, an engineering process. We should make a few of these. Engineering processor, let's just make four. We can make four. It'll be a while before we make one. Let me go and drop off this stuff down here. Oop. This is kind of the problem right here. <laughs> not exporting the, uh, we're not exporting this stuff anymore. There's a lot of iron sort of in potentium right now, which I, I don't really appreciate. You get in there. There we go. Right, and we'll put. Well, we'll just put these away for now. What we should do, just to prove everything is working as anticipated, is break this connection. Yoink. Oh, we can just put this here. See how many that's using. That's using four of eight channels. Right, 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 right. Really? What's over here? We'll be only using two there. Let's break it. Go on that. There we go. 
Great. Now, nothing nothing on the uh, mob farm is sending anything into the ME system. Now we can see, in theory, they should have one channel in use. Two channels. What is the other channel? This is why we have smart cable, of course. Um, do this. We're going up there. We're all going along here. Is there anything on this side of that connection? Do this. Two channels. Why are you using two channels for one connection? However, this should have more than two channels. Excuse me. How many channels are you using now? In change? And go. So that's five, and that's two. I don't know why it's two. Because this over here says P2P tunnel applied on logistics. Tunnels are one input. Carry up to 32 channels, same as the ME dense cable, but only requiring a single channel per point. Right. I understand. So there's two ends of it. It's not one connection, it's one P2P, but each P2P uses a different channel per point so it's using two because there's one over here and one over there now i get it i understand this uh, i might as well leave that there and then when we connected this bit that added two more thingies because these are not p2p'd yet so let's go and uh, p2p those things and we should find that we're using three channels where we were previously using five the other thing that we can uh, be aware of in that situation is not just that we're using fewer channels, but it means that each of those uh, ends are all attached to the same P2P network, i.e. the one I'm about to write from my memory card, which is right now. Uh, and I've used all my smart cable. Uh, so this should be online. Now these should be online. So now this thingy here should say it's using three. Yes, so this, that, and the other one are all connected together using a single network, which itself is carrying 32 channels, but it's only using three channels to do so. Some of the channels, five of them are out here. But this, this cable, right, can only do eight channels. So everything in here, we can only have eight things in here, but we can also have eight things in there. And we can also have eight things in yet another place. And if we really, really wanted to, we could replace all of this network with dense cable then we could carry we could have 32 outputs to the p2p connection we don't need that because we've actually got several sides to the uh to the block yeah so this was necessary to power it so this is not necessary now we can put that there and then what we can do is we can prove that the other piece over here is also only using we can see basically what i've been doing is at each point like this if we tell it how many channels that we're using here it would be two yes so two channels are going into the network there five channels are going into the network over there and then the network has three endpoints which means there are three channels in use across this cable here if we wanted to then we could do even more stuff over here by just using the other several channels. The only thing this is not telling us now is that this, that, and that are all connected to the same P2P network. So what we really, really want to do is if we can manage it, replace all this with a colored cable that tells us what network we're attached to. And then this cable, so we can only have eight outputs on the P2P network of that color, but then we can have 32 things on the, I guess the input down there. It's a little bit confusing. So that's, that's a good thing to have done because now what we can think about is down here in this messy place where we have, you know, these large numbers of interfaces and all that sort of thing. We can bring a single cable into here only requiring it to carry two channels. It's already using four of eight channels. How are we supposed to put a whole bunch more machinery down here. Well, what we do is make another P2P connection. Oh, you finished. We make another P2P connection. 
which is why I made some more of these. Ooh. And some more bundle dense cable, dense smart cable. It was a bit difficult to make, wasn't it? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. One, two, two, three, four, and then we can make this, and then we can make. We don't have to make smart cable. We can make a lot of dense cable, and we'll be fine. Uh, we do still need that cable though, because we need to do the same thing. We need to connect all of this stuff up together. I we might as well put that there. We're probably going to need our air charm switch on. So that was this one, right? So let's do that and that. <laughs> let me let me go down. Uh, excuse me. Then that and then that. So what we're going to need to make sure that we do at this point is um, no, no. We're going to want to do at this point is make sure that we have got a new uh, reader here. We want a new flavor, a new device profile on our memory card. Otherwise, it's going to go a little bit wonky. Put a cable anchor down here. This will stop. Our, oh, do you know what? We could just do this. It doesn't actually, <clears throat> oh, we want one here now. It doesn't actually matter where we get our power from. That goes there, that goes. As long as it comes from here, basically. <laughs> I mean, it does matter, but what actually matters is that the cables are connected to one. It has to come from the side that actually has power in it, which is the important thing. So we'll put this, of here, this here, this here, this here. So that should be powering that now. So let's now make a fresh a shift right click to create a new one. 5D39, see so it's a different number. Turn this off and go smack. Great. Output this over here. Might as well just pull this apart. Tumpty tum. What well, this corridor is for, I don't know why I'm not using it. Uh, this and this. This goes here. Bump. Nope. Nope. Oh, you can power it directly. I did not know that. It goes here. Not this. Ugh. What have you done? <laughs> Go here. This goes here. Let's get a smart cable. This and what now? Here. And you're gonna work? Unlinked. What does that mean? What? Ooh. 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 Give me that. <laughs> Why are you so difficult right now? <laughs> are you... No, I've pulled you off so you've stopped being a pet. Uh, hello? Go, and then go. Link it. And then, missing channel. Why? Because that goes over there, you pillock. <laughs> Everyone's yelling at me from the comments. Hey, you're doing it wrong. That's not the direction that goes in. You're not wrong. Turn this back. Put the normal smart cable here. That would work. Make it a little bit neater like it was before. Cable floating in the air. Down, down, down. And bonk and... Oh, right. Let's undo this nonsense that we have previously done. You should have your channels back. Right, what were we doing? We were doing this one. So, pop this off. Pop this back on. So that's that, but we also want this off. This on. Then this back on. Toot. Excuse me. Oh, flip. This uh, air charm is pretty difficult to work with on account of how 
you can't sneak right click with it <laughs> because then you just end up moving away. Just here, right? All right, we need to get rid of this. Go. This. Back. Ah, oh, goodness. Wait, are we there yet? No. Uh, this goes here. Shoot. That might just work, actually, because that has already got energy. Yes, device online. So let's load. This might just work straight up. Load this. Boop. Device missing Chanel. No, it says it's online. Okay, good. And then... Let's make a new one. New configuration. You are doing nothing down here. We'll paste you into this one. Links, output side, great. So now we should find this cable over here has four of eight channels. Great. So, well, what was happening there? We, this is not necessarily the ideal place to put this. We should probably bring it into the room because remember we can send 32 things through this, but not through this. So the immediate thing that's coming out of this is kind of no use. This should be a dense cable too. In fact, we should have dense cables all the way to the point where we need um, actual any, we needed to branch off. We should have dense cables as far as possible, or we should use the cable behind the P2P thing to bring the actual P2P outputs into the room. And then we can have seven outputs into the room each of which can have eight thingies and that still doesn't flood the network. So I think we're doing quite well here. So this should all be still working. So let's just double check. If we want to create it, we wanted to create borders, a lot of that. Uh, let's make some phyto grow. So that. that shouldn't take too long because we've got plenty of sap because I, uh, yeah, that worked. When we discovered that you know, filling this up, this didn't create any more. I replaced this with an auxiliary reception coil, so now this goes a little bit faster, which is superb. Um, you can pull this stuff out of here, we can put this in here. So now we can start using this area to export things, etc. Now we've got a lot more flexibility to make a lot more of these export buses. We don't need this sort of nonsense. And we can start doing, you know, various different things like, I don't know, just actually automating things for once. And we could do the same trick. The reason I wanted to start this P2P stuff off was that we can do the same trick and send another P2P thing all the way down here and start having this doing what we actually wanted to do in the first place, which is to, in a ludicrous fashion, export a humongous amount of iron. That was fun. I, I'm glad that I figured out P2P networks without at once going off camera and reading up on it on the internet without telling you and then coming back and pretending I was a genius. Well, no, that didn't happen at all. I knew that straight away and figured it all out all myself with all this uh, quartz cable and stuff. Didn't need any help at all. So uh, I'm going to call that episode here. It's been a little bit shorter, but hopefully that makes up for the me making you sit around for an hour previously and watch what I was doing. Also, we should probably make sure this thing is... We could uh, use up one of our eight P2P network things by just putting that there, but I think we can't get the data out again over to here, so maybe that won't work, never mind. Thank you for watching. It's been a little bit of a shorter episode, but I hope that's good for you because that was good for me. And until the next time, I'll see you.